So guys, I am in front of St. Roch Cemetery tonight. We are here, we are happy to be here. A lot of people, you know, look at death as very sad. And some people look at it as being happy, maybe someone was suffering. And you know, it's never easy either way. So it's very bittersweet, of course, uh, when you lose loved ones. But that's what I love about New Orleans. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the story. So when I moved down here seven years ago, uh, we had a funeral, it was a family member, um, and they were um, middle-aged, and it was very sad. And of course, you know, you go to the funeral, and you know, everyone's sad and crying. You know, I grew up Catholic, you know, in New York. You go to the funeral home, it's quiet, you know, you can hear a pin drop, you know, and everyone's mourning and we're in silence and, you know, and it's very quiet. So, you know, I went down to my first funeral here and I went to the church and then after they're like, no, we're going to have a party. Okay, so in New York, we would just go to families, uh, the family's house, you know, our friends' houses or go out to eat. No, guys, in New Orleans, that's not what they do. They have jazz bands and second lines and I couldn't believe it. I went and I was like, I have never experienced anything like this in my life before. They literally celebrate the death, which is absolutely amazing. And they party and they party as sad as they are because they want to celebrate that person's life. And I was like, wow, I'm having a good time. Is there something wrong with this? Because where I grew up, like, we didn't have parties when someone died. And that's what makes New Orleans so amazing. Because we celebrate their life, their legacy. Even though the situation would be so sad, depending on, you know, the different circumstances. But I said, wow, this is what I want when I go out. You know, I want to have a good time. I don't want people crying over me. And that's what we do in New Orleans. We may be very sad, but they also do an had such a wonderful job to really keep the person's legacy alive. So tonight we are here celebrating the life and legacy of all our loved ones here and that's why they call it the Day of the Dead. We're remembering them, we're honoring them, and we're thinking of them. And they're always in our hearts no matter what. The past couple of years I've lost quite a few family members and as you know it's, it's never easy. Um, but. I like to keep their tradition and their memory alive. So we're here and I'm also going to pay respects as we're praying to my family and friends that we've lost along the way. And we're here tonight celebrating with them. So we're honored to be living in New Orleans and be able to experience this and, and celebrate our loved ones tonight here for Day of the Dead. So hope you guys enjoy this and really see what our New Orleans culture is really about in a positive way. Also, a lot of people are also dressed up and celebrating the Day of the Dead. And a lot of people go all out. They dress up with the parade. It's absolutely amazing. So you're going to like this and really appreciate it, I think. I mean, this is, I think, one of the most amazing things that we can do is celebrate our loved ones here. So they also have someone um, selling food, actually, uh, tonight. I think I'm going to go get a little food. I'm a little hungry. I didn't eat anything after I got off work. So we're gonna see, it smells so good. So we're gonna check out what they have. Oh, we smell your food, it looks so good. And it smells so good. Your food smells so good. And we're hungry because we didn't have any dinner. So what's the name of your business? Awesome. So I could do like a chicken and cheese quesadilla? Okay. I'm going to do a chicken and cheese quesadilla and I think I'm going to try some of your flortas. Okay. Yeah. And you have, are there any, uh, like you have chicken flortas? Yeah. I'm going to do some chicken. Perfect. Thank you. So I am saying hi to Kayla at the parade. We're waiting for the parade to pass through and I was admiring, look at her beautiful, beautiful makeup and she's got beautiful like gemstones on her face. And look at that headpiece. Because I was just explaining to people that here in New Orleans, we go all out. We celebrate life, we celebrate death, and we celebrate just beauty and everything. And that headpiece is beautiful. So you made that? Yes, actually, me and my 
my coworkers decided this year to celebrate our heritage. Okay. And two of us are actually have that background, so we okay. decided to make pieces at work. Wow. And we wore them pretty much the last okay. couple of days now. And now we're here at the parade to celebrate the Day of the Dead. And this is the best city to be in. It is. And it truly is just, there's no place like it. There's no people like it. There's no culture like it. Correct here in New Orleans? Absolutely. Very diverse. We celebrate all nationalities. We celebrate all heritage. And we always support each other. And that's the main thing. We support each other. So you look absolutely gorgeous too. Did you do that headpiece? I did. I made that. Boy, I need to get some talent in my life because I don't think I have that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And you got, look at those gems. I'm going to zoom in. I mean, gorgeous. You did a beautiful job. How long did it take you to do that? Um, well, we played around for like a few days. Oh. Uh, well, you and your friend that we just said hi to have an amazing talent. So, love it. So, we're, we're just saying we're excited and we're honored to be here. And it's amazing that New Orleans really goes all out in honoring, you know, our dead, you know, our loved ones and paying respect and continuing their love and their legacy, you know, going on. So, I mean, we're happy to be here. Uh, yes, we were just saying that too. We're all first timers together. The three of us, so, and I love your shirt. Absolutely gorgeous. So, and what was your name again? Maria. Maria. Maria, it was so nice to meet you. And I'm telling you, girl, you need to sell those things. They're absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so, guys, I just had some quesadillas and some fortress. Oh my god, they were so good. And as you can see, people are loving the food here. Everyone's having a good time. We got some bonfires across the street. Everyone's starting to line up. Like everyone is really, really just out here celebrating our loved ones tonight in New Orleans. And we're having some great food by our friends that we just met. I mean, this is really nice.
<laughs> the guy, they got the gate over there. Looks like they're trying to break in. <laughs> She's all up in that bed. <laughs> So people can put stuff on the altar, guys, in remembrance of their loved ones. Everyone's lined up to pay their respect to their loved ones. About my dad. Yeah, right.
And they got the incense burning. Someone's got that beautiful cat. Oh. Isn't that adorable? Yeah. yeah. See that? We love everyone. We love our animals. Yes. We love our people. We love New Orleans. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful job. Absolutely amazing. Well, I'm not a native either. Are you Tanya? A lot of people are dressed up here tonight to honor our loved ones that can't be with us. Well, you had a friend to meet up? Hey guys, how you doing? You guys look so beautiful and handsome. I have to tell you that was the one of the most beautiful experiences I've had here in New Orleans at 
the Day of the Dead parade. I have never been, I've been living down here for seven years and it was literally breathtaking and you guys just look absolutely amazing. So you were part of the crew today? Yes. Uh, and what's the name of the crew you're with? Oh, so you guys did an amazing job. Look at how beautiful you look and handsome he looks. You guys worked so hard to put that together and we're here for one reason is to celebrate our loved ones that are not here today, correct? <laughs> so guys, that was the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. It was absolutely mind-blowing how beautiful everyone comes together as friends, family, strangers that don't know each other and all come together to celebrate our loved ones. And that's what New Orleans is about.